now my friends behold a robber's daughter. See the most beautiful girl in the world. I told you so. Hey. Hello. Hey. Oh. Oh, she is. <laughs> oh, look how smart she is. You can just tell. Uh, what's her name then, Mattis? Ask the mother. I decided long ago the name is Ronya. But how did you know it was going to be a girl? I didn't. However, Ronya is what I decided, so it was always going to be Ronya. <laughs> Will you hand Ronya to me now? Did you hear me, Mattis? For ten years, Ronya's entire world was within the safe stone walls of Mattis's fort. When Mattis finally let her explore the forest outside, she found the real world to be far bigger than she had imagined. So big that it took her breath away. Robber's daughter. I know you. Yes, I do. I've seen you running around the forest. Well, I don't know you. Tell me then, how did you get into our fort? to know. I'm Bert Borkerson, and we moved in yesterday. We? Who's we? 
<laughs> Borker, me, and Undis. And our band of twelve robbers. Robbers, do you mean to say those dirty devils are in the North Fort? <laughs> You've got it wrong. You see, over here, Borker robbers are decent people. But if it's dirty devils you're looking for, I think they live on the south side of this place. <laughs> you're talking about us! And for your information, this isn't the North Fort anymore. As of last night, it's called Borker's Keep. Just you remember that. You don't know who you're dealing with. Hey! I told you to keep a rope's length away. What happened? Were you bitten by a fox? Um, no. I'm fine. And now I think I can find my own way back to Borkis Keep. Hmm? Ronya stared at Birk a long time. No matter how she tried, she suddenly found it difficult to think badly of him. And she did not know why. <laughs> it's called Mattis' fort, and I hope you fall into Hell's Gap. <laughs> Son. Are you going home to your father? What is it that my daughter says I can't do? I'll tell you! Ah! You can go rubbing all the gold and silver and rubbish that you want! But... No! You can't hurt people! You animal! I hope the harpies rip you to pieces! But you know, Borker, we have dungeons here in Mattis's fort. Your son won't want for a roof over his head or food on his plate. So, let that be a comfort to you, if it happens to be a cold, wet summer. Everything. Then Mattis will know how I suffer.
What's wrong with you? Don't you feel well? <laughs> Don't you want to play? Here, watch once more. <gasps> Beat that, <gasps> if you can. that she must not fret or worry too much about me. I'll be in the woods if she wants to find me. Once I get the fire going, I'll catch up with you. Actually, you're the one I'm here to see. Hmm. I remember the old bear's cave. Yeah. Oh, when I was your age, I was in and out of there all the time. It's a fine place. No better place to live at this time of year. Ah? Don't you think so, Lovis? You can go, of course. Your father and I both agree. <gasps> It'll be quieter with you both gone. You'll be missed. <laughs> you better return together before winter. And I'm sure you will. Yes, we will. Just like we did last year. Right? Mm-hmm. Also, that cave is really mine. Don't you forget it. And every so often, from time to time, I'll call in. You can come whenever. Although... Given all we've been through, it'll be a relief not to see your black curly head every day, so... 
On second thought, I think you should just stay away. <laughs> yes, I have to agree with that. <laughs> you go then. <laughs> <laughs> 